Hello everyone, my name is Keegan McElwain, and I'm here to present Faustus, a formally verified extension to the Marlowe Smart Contract Programming Language. The work on the Faustus project has been done by myself, Stone Olgan, and Professor James Caldwell as part of the Wyoming Advanced Blockchain Laboratory, or WABL for short. So first, let's go over some background on Marlowe. Marlowe is a simple, domain-specific programming language for writing financial smart contracts specifically targeting execution on the blockchain. There is no looping, recursion, or parameterized functions or procedures in Marlowe. The simplicity of Marlowe allows for easy analysis and verification of the contracts, and Marlowe itself has been formalized in the Isabel Interactive Theorem Prover. The downside to the simplicity of Marlowe is that contracts quickly become large and hard to maintain. That leads us to the goal of the Faustus project, which is to extend Marlowe to be more expressive while maintaining Marlowe's ability to execute on the blockchain and still allow for easy analysis and verification of contracts. We call the new language we have created Faustus. We aim to achieve our goal by adding parameterized abstractions to Marlowe to promote readability, fewer errors, and more compact code. In addition to integer variables that already exist in Marlowe, blockchain wallet addresses, Boolean values, and pieces of contracts can now be associated with variable names for reuse in a Faustus program. The methods utilized in our work are well understood techniques used in developing and verifying compilers for general purpose programming languages. We have also formalized Faustus by using the existing formalization and definition of Marlowe in Isabel. We believe that Faustus is useful to developers of financial contracts on the blockchain. We have developed a concrete syntax for Faustus, so it does not need to be embedded in another language like Haskell or JavaScript. So developers do not need to learn another programming language to use Faustus. If they want to see how a Faustus program evaluates, we provide an evaluator for Faustus based on its semantics. We also provide a formally verified type checker for Faustus, meaning that well-typed Faustus programs are guaranteed to execute to the end of the contract. Finally, we have developed a Faustus compiler that targets Marlowe. This means a program written in Faustus can be parsed, type-checked, compiled, and executed on any blockchain that supports Marlowe. We have formally verified the compiler with respect to the small step semantics as well. The verification of the compiler with respect to the semantics means that we verify preservation of semantics. In this diagram, when a programmer writes a Faustus contract F, there are semantics that define how the contract should execute along the top edge in zero more execution steps into another intermediate or final Faustus contract F prime. Along the side edges of the diagram, the compiler translates a Faustus contract into a Marlowe contract. Finally, the bottom edge of the diagram indicates that a Marlowe contract, M, executes in zero more execution steps to another Marlowe contract, M prime, using the semantics defined for Marlowe. What we show by verifying preservation of semantics is that moving along the top edge and then down is the same as moving down and then along the bottom edge. Thus, the diagram commutes. So the resulting Marlowe contract from compiling a Faustus contract will always execute exactly the same as the original Faustus contract. So in conclusion, we have described a structured operational semantics for Marlowe based on its evaluator. We have also described a structured operational semantics for Faustus. We've implemented a type checker for Faustus that has also been formally verified. We have also implemented an evaluator for Faustus and proved its correctness with respect to the semantics. We have also implemented a compiler from Faustus to Marlowe and proved the correctness of the compiler with respect to the semantics. In the future, we plan on formalizing new features for Faustus, such as Merkleization of the contracts to allow for more compact representation of the contracts on the blockchain. We also plan on developing modular methods for extending DSLs based on our work on Faustus. This has been a short presentation on the work done for the Faustus project. I hope it's been informative and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for listening.